Martha, uh, it's incredible. 25 years ago, um, I, I, I see you, 22nd of October, 1993. I see you there on the, in the Stadthalle of Kronberg, speaking to us, and it was really touching words, which I carry inside of me until now. It was words about Pablo, Pablo Casals, that he see the music also as a fourth, a fourth for love and peace. And that's what we carry inside of us. Yeah. Well, it has been a wonderful journey to be with you, Raymond, here in Kronberg. When you came to me at that time, a year before, 26 years ago then, uh, to talk to me about your dream of having a cello festival, of reminding the world about Pablo Casal celebrating the anniversary of his death, but most of all, his music, his, his force and his love for peace and brotherhood, mm. which was his life. Mm. He was not only a wonderful musician, but he dedicated every bit of his energy mm. to make this music mm. and to use this music to mm. the service of humanity. Because not only uh, uh, later in life, but ever since the beginning, he was always uh, concerned about social issues, about poor people, about helping, how music is a spiritual force for us mm. to help each other and to bring a better understanding among men. For us, um, it's a guideline, you know, we we teaching young people, we try to bring them forward and that art and humanity are undiversible. It's uh, a guideline for us until today. And this is, uh, I think, more and more important. Um, music, not only to have uh, for your own sake, uh, to serve this uh, music humanity, and maybe, how to say, to make this world a, a better world. A, a, at least <laughs> a little better. Yeah. A little better in our own way. Mm. But more than that, it is a question of uh, having as a natural issue mm. that all of us, you know, are we are united together. Mm. And this is the universal language, as he said, mm. you know, music can be felt anywhere, anywhere in the world by everybody, even if you cannot understand each other in speaking. Mm. And it's the spirit that brings people together. But with him, it was even more than that because uh, music could not only help in that way of mm -hmm. bringing people together, but also giving your of yourself. For example, you know, he gave us the example when mm -hmm. he left uh, the stage to go and help refugees. I mm -hmm. mean, this is our duty. So one thing brings the other. It's mm -hmm. not only the music itself that is such such a magnificent force, mm -hmm. but also the spirit that brings it so that people feel. Yeah. a responsibility to help yeah. and to guide and to do everything in your power to help other people. That somehow reminds me the world um, elite and somehow they're really fine and wonderful players and soloists, artists and musicians who come here, but that this elite uh, is in a social responsibility for our society and this is something what they have to learn too, and uh, oh, Pablo Casals reminds us. That's right. Elite. What does elite mean? Mm. That you're recognized for something yeah. you did well, but it's much better to be recognized for your generosity, exactly. for your your kindness, and for your responsibility. Mm. Because mm. we have to take responsibility not only for ourselves, you know. Yeah, and then when you have a special talent, that means in a way also to have a responsibility. Of course. Yeah. In that way. You have to mm. use it. Whatever your talent, mm. use it in the best way possible and always, always be willing to help. Education, that was a very mm. important part. Uh, word for Casals. You have to educate, but not educate, you must mm. A, B, C, no, educate by example, mm. educate by bringing people together. And that's what you had in mind, and that's what now you have achieved 
but uh, 100 fold 25 years later because you added the academy because education again education 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 and also bringing together uh, people from everywhere and uh, to to foster these ideals and bringing this all these young and old generations together every year you know they learn from each other so congratulations Raymond it's Thank been you. a journey <clears throat> a wonderful journey Slava uh, you remember made Kronberg to the world capital of the cello, but this world capital is a tiny little town. It's possibly <laughs> not what you expected. Not only um, that, but it's a wonderful little town. You know, I was never so uh, uh, so overjoyed to see the first time how the the people of this town were so happy about this festival. Mm -hmm. And more and more as mm -hmm. years went by, every shop, Every place you went, there were signs of what was going on. Mm. The whole town is really involved in mm -hmm. this in music festival, and they know what it means. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel that just this atmosphere, arriving here and seeing banners and the cello festival mm -hmm. and the recordings of so-and-so mm -hmm. and, and the pictures of the artists and, mm -hmm. and the shops, it, it was wonderful. And this is the collaboration that we all need mm -hmm. because we artists we need the public mm -hmm. and the public response mm -hmm. and the people who are out there help us mm -hmm. because you know the sponsors are mm -hmm. always very important because they understand the idea it developed to a place for all string players and i remember very much uh, the first chamber music connects the world and you came with Eugene Istomine and yes, he yeah, played yes. on the piano, piano, yes. um, Mozart uh, piano quintet, I think. And um, this was a wonderful opportunity with other great colleagues. Well, yeah, I mean, so many wonderful artists have come by and stayed because mm. once you come here, you return. Mm. <laughs> Uh, so you have attracted uh, most wonderful artists and people who are committed, mm. you know, that they give part of their time to, to because education is mm. so important. But uh, this altogether. needs possibly a kind of protected place, a place of quietness or in a way a place um, with a possibility to contemplate. And um, in this world, uh, when we think about the music market, which starts to heat up quicker and um, well, uh, it's something where I feel sometimes comfortable and maybe it's important that we, we have a place where we can purity. share our values. Um, yes. The purity of exactly. our art, you know, because again, we, we're in a changing world and, you know, the world of internet has taken over and of the three minute bites about mm -hmm. things. Here we come to make music, to mm -hmm. enjoy it, to do the best of it. And there is the music world and then which has wonderful artists and it's amazing, mm -hmm. you know, that we have such uh, advances in everything. But when you're thinking of your art as something very precious, mm -hmm. something that can contribute mm -hmm. to all these feelings of fraternity, of, 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 of helping, of making one world, yes, we mm -hmm. have our own uh, distinctions, countries and all that, but our soul is the mm -hmm. same, we aspire the same things. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what is missing, or not missing, it's there very much so, but it is not given as much importance anymore mm -hmm. because of the fastness mm -hmm. of our lives, the, mm -hmm. the, the immediacy of mm -hmm. the of the internet, the immediacy of many things that do not give us time to absorb mm -hmm. what is important in mm -hmm. life. And this is so important for us that you are here. And also on the 22nd of October 2018, the 45th yes. day of Pablo Casal's death, because, um, I mean, you have this experience, you carry it inside yourself, all this wonderful history, this generation link from one great artist to the next. I really think it's so important to have this generation link, you mm -hmm. know, to mm -hmm. keep it alive, mm -hmm. to um, pass over um, all this, all the values from one generation to the next. And you are 
like nobody else for me the representative of well, this. I have uh, been so so fortunate not only for what I have seen in my life mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, so my life sort of spans 186 <laughs> 86 60 years because 80 years old of Casals and mm. my 80 now mm. uh, make me, you know, having lived through all those experiences mm. through Casals and his generation mm. and his his values and then my own life and mm. then now working with young people who are so talented mm. and so so willing to to learn and to they are when they see me, they always want to ask questions mm. about, and what about this, and what about that? They're interested in this generational uh, continuity, mm. which doesn't exist so much, you mm. know, among musicians, because they're all having their own lives. So this is a center where it gathers so many of them that come year after year, mm. different ones. So we touch a through your academy, mm. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm of course eager. What if you would, uh, if you could think about what Pablo Casals, how he would feel uh, to come to Kronberg, how you would feel possibly that a hall are named after him, uh, the Casals Forum in Kronberg, which would come up. So I mean, do well, you have any imagination? Well, you know. Casals was a uh, a very modest man, you know. Mm. First, of, first of all, he would be not surprised because mm. you know during his lifetime he mm. was famous and he was given and he started the uh, Casals orchestras. He did mm -hmm. that type of thing in his time, you know, mm. when Barcelona mm. did not have a symphony orchestra, he founded it. Mm. And and so, but a a uh, let's say an institution like Kronberg where you have all these things together and with a, a purpose and all that, he would have been so happy to see that it was happening really in an organized way with a thought put into it to really preserve all those values and mm. to give opportunity to young mm. people mm. to know about all these things and the seriousness of not only the, the art they are mm. personifying, but the responsibility that comes with it. And uh, when you think about the future, what you would like to wish Kronberg Academy oh my goodness, for right. the future? Well, it has come so, so far, you know, first the cello, mm. the chamber music, mm. then the academy. Mm. And uh, now uh, you have uh, the forum where people will come and you will have international uh, gatherings of, of different kinds. I think that it will grow and under your leadership, the next step, you will know exactly what it will be. Of course, there are existing, you know, places like that, you know, Marlborough in the United States and so many, but this is very unique in the way it, it, it works, you know, mm -hmm. uh, away from everything and uh, being uh, serious uh, for, for music and for learning and with all the elements mm. which you have been adding, which makes the fullness mm. of the music world. So you, you have the, the, the uh, exemplary artists, those who the teachers, the students, and, and then that those young people who start very young and have this wonderful panorama of what they must aspire and work for. And if that continues, around it can reach many 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 that will bring a better world i hope by all of this